the National Cancer Awareness Month for February, mm -hmm. the Philippines. Um, actually, we celebrated the World Cancer Day last Friday, World last cancer. Sunday, oh. Feb 4. So, ngayon, no? so we, because it's National Cancer Awareness, so mm -hmm. awareness, mm -hmm. so we have to understand muna siyempre yung ano bang nangyayari sa Pilipinas sa ating sa sta stat statistics stat na status. Okay. So, as you can see in the screen, um, yung sa... Um, yung yung census natin mm -hmm. sa uh, actually pangatlo tayo no pangatlo tayo sa mga pinaka sa in cancer per se overall mataas na yung dati kasi di ba ang nauuna talaga is usually mga stroke mga heart attack mm -hmm. so pangatlo na tayo pangatlo ang cancer pangatlo. sa leading cause of death okay. no leading mortality and morbidity ang mm -hmm. ang cancer and then um, out of the new cases no lumalabas mga 100,000 na no per year no malabas mm -hmm. na ng cancer and then nangyayari diyan yung top actually top 3 natin usually is yung first is breast pa rin okay breast pa rin yung nangunguna second is yung ating uh, yung lung cancer Yan na and then susunod yung colorectal cancer colon at saka rectal na pinasama mm -hmm. so yung bituka ano cancer sa bituka so yun yung top 3 mm -hmm. na leading causes sa ma, sa Pilipinas and then sa mga kalalakihan usually naman um, ang papansin naman natin doon, ang first is usually lung cancer pa rin because of smoking pa rin talaga. And then, second naman is yung colorectal. And then, third, prostate cancer. Yun sila yung top three causes mm -hmm. ng cancer sa kalalakihan. Sa kababaghiyan naman, of course, breast. Yes. Breast cancer pa rin talaga yung nangunguna sa mga listahan na nagkakaroon ng cancer. And then, sunod doon is yung cervical cancer. No? Cervical at saka yung uh, uterine cancer. Then, third is... Uh, choler ano pa rin siya? Um, colorectal cancer pa rin. So, technically, the reason why cervical cancer is still there because hindi pa rin, hindi pa rin maraming tao nagpapavaccinate. Okay. No? So, because it's, we'll talk about that later, yung prevention. Okay. No? Mm -hmm. Mga, what are the primary preventions? No? So, in, when, you go, when you say awareness, so you have to, ipapakita sa madlang people, yung, yung prevention naman. How do we prevent? Paano ba tin sinastop yung or hopefully mas ma hindi magprogress into cancer mm -hmm. so we have three types of prevention we have primary prevention okay. secondary prevention and third tertiary, tertiary no tertiary so yung primary prevention yun yung mga yun yung mga bagay na na wala pa cancer isang tao pero you can do something about it no pero wala mean, pa, oh, oh, wala pa. Yun yung keyword dun, wala, oh, wala pa, pa cancer wala. that we could do something about it one of course stop smoking yun ani nangan nakatabo sa news din eh smoking oh, yes. yeah. stop smoking or do Kahit not start smoking cigarettes yes. so safe e cigarettes pa yun mm. agree so yan yung pinaka medyo iwasan natin mm. talaga no kasi maraming talaga dinudulot din not just for cancer of course pwedeng cardiovascular risk mm. mga heart attacks strokes no it can happen no na nas nasisira din na injure niya yung mga lungs natin mm -hmm. at the same time anything na as napag-usapan natin before anything na inflammatory na yes. mamaga constant inflammation mm -hmm. can mutate no a cell to mm -hmm. become cancer and of course over over drinking no mm -hmm. because drinking is li, uh, can lead to like for example uh, cirrhosis ng liver di ba mm -hmm. di ba sunog atay mm -hmm. di ba <laughs> yeah. di ba yung mga because of alak <laughs> and then of course alcohol can become fat no mm -hmm. and fat can actually increase in your body hindi lang siya pwedeng hindi lang siya magiging parang cause ng metabolic syndrome it can have mga cardiovascular problems at okay. hindi lang yun no pwede rin siyang magkaroon ng mga uh, cancer related risk no mm -hmm. usually pag obesity tumatabang isang pasyente there's a there's a chance of high risk to have different kinds of cancers mm -hmm. then of course exercise no you really have to exercise to prevent no and not galaw, just for galaw. yes galaw galaw pag may time <laughs> diba kahit na nakaupo lang kayo sa office you spend time no maybe you should do a segment on how to mga tips diba mm -hmm. on how to dati may fitness one oh, yes, yes. Yeah. babalik natin yan oh. yes diba para at least malaman nila na kahit na nasa bahay ka lang o oh, nasa office ka lang may Meron. pwede kang gawin diba and then of course vaccinations no vaccination so ngayon ah uh, in January, it's liver cancer awareness. So, um, there is vaccination already, HEPA vaccine, di ba? To prevent hepatitis. Mm -hmm. Because hepatitis can actually lead to Hi. liver cancer then. So, we have vaccination for HEPA. And then you have for cervical cancers, mm -hmm. and actually oropharyngeal cancers, can, eh, ang risk naman is yung tinatawag na HPV virus, no? Human popular virus. So, yung HPV virus na yun can actually lead to another cancer, which is cervical cancer. And then, actually, oropharyngeal cancer mm -hmm. then. So, vaccination mm -hmm. na uh, you have two types of vaccination for HPV vaccine can actually prevent na hindi siya maging 
cancer siya. Mm-hmm. So that, no? mm-hmm. And then, of course, sa skin, melanoma, sunscreen. Diba? That's why mm-hmm. ngayon talaga, even, even nga, even, uh, uh, it is advised na mag-scanscreen ka, even at nandito ako sa indoor, di ba? Mga lines well, doon. Oh. Tsaka so, magre-reapply. Yeah, tsaka isa pa, it really helps your skin. True, diba? nakakaganda. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Ang ganda. <laughs> Ang fresh. Nakaka-fresh. Di ba? Mas mag-i-improve yun if you apply mm-hmm. sunscreen, di ba? And then, of course, of course, practice pa rin safe sex, especially if you have, uh, if, yeah, if, yun. Anyways, um, so that is primary prevention. Primary. Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. So, when it comes to secondary prevention naman, you do, yun naman yung mga, can, yun naman yung may cancer, pero wala pa sintomas. Or, uh, pasimula pa lang, yung nagkakaroon pa lang, meron kasi minsan transition pa lang, mm-hmm. yung mga nagkakaroon na ng polyps, hindi pa, hindi pa siya cancer, pero cancer, okay. nagkakaroon na ng mutation talaga, no? na parang may mga abnormal ano na manifestation, pero it's not really cancer per se. So those are falls into the secondary prevention. So how do you do secondary prevention? You do your screenings na. Mammography. Okay. For breast cancer, you have your colonoscopy mm-hmm. for colon cancers, prostate exam, PSA, blood test, or you can actually do your pap smear. So, mga ganun. Mm-hmm. Saka, for lung, you have the uh, low-dose CT scan. No? Mm-hmm. CT scan siya. Mm-hmm. No? For those mataas na risk factors for mga heavy smokers. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, do you advise them to do low-dose CT scan? Mm-hmm. So, those are your secondary prevention. No? And then, now, we go to Screen. the tertiary prevention. So, ang tertiary prevention, yan yung meron ng cancer. Yeah. Symptomatic yeah. na sila. So, ano pinaprevent pa ba natin? Prevent Siyempre, pa. Oh. Yes, you still can prevent yung paghirap ng pasyente, yung, Lala, no? yung paglala Lala, ng no? sintomas. Kasi nandiyan na yung bukol, pero pwede pa rin natin is- yeah. pahabayin ang buhay mm-hmm. niya, di ba? Pa- uh-huh. na to stop the progression. Mm-hmm. So, you do surgery, you do chemotherapy, you do hormonal therapy, so you do radiation therapy. So, yun yung mga tertiary prevention na you stop it from progressing. Uh-huh. So, you have three lines of progression. Eh, three lines of prevention. Uh-huh. So, yun yung mga ginagawa na. So, since we are in the Cancer Awareness Month, of course, we are promoting cancer screening. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. So, how do we do cancer screening? So, first, of course, top one sa kababayan is breast. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, when it comes to cancer screening, it has been proven already that pag nagkaroon ka ng cancer screening, mas bumababa yung mortality. Yung pagbaba mm-hmm. ng yeah. pagkamatay ng isang pasyat. Kasi naku- nakuha mo eh. Mm-hmm. Nahuli mo siya. So, you can prevent it from progressing. So, when it comes to breast cancer, so ano ba yung mga bagay-bagay na, na nagiging mga sintomas nila mm-hmm. before ka magpa-check? Siyempre, di ba, uh, pwedeng magkaroon ng mga... Uh, yes, may nakakapag lumps, no? Ganun pa rin yung mga parang different, may dimpling ng skin, parang mm-hmm. yung sa, sa, sa breast nila, may nagkakaroon ng na parang pew de orange. Yung sa pew de orange, nakita mo sa orange, may maraming mga tuldok-tuldok-tuldok mm-hmm. sa orange, parang pwede maging ganun ang isura niya. And then inverted nipples, mga ganun, no? So, minsan, minsan nagkakaroon ng, mas malaki yung buko, yung dede ng isa, mm. yung hugis ng isang dede compared to sa isa, mas malaki yung isa. So, may mga ganun bagay, no? Sometimes even, if usually breast cancers are painless, but it can be painful in certain areas mm. wherein pag lumalaki siya masyado, naiibit na ibang structure, sumasakit na. Painless. Mm. Pero sa mga ibang symptoms naman, Dok, uh, usually ba ang breast cancer is noticeable physically lang? Kung baga makikita mo agad ba na yung na merong kunyari yung isa merong minsan kasi ang hirap kasi nga um, nasa minsan nasa loob so mapapansin mo lang mas malaki yung isa over the isa mm-hmm. hindi sila ang, ang breast natin ang breast kasi ng kababayan hindi talaga siya when you say talagang pantay so oh, it's not as hindi siya symmetrical okay. talaga per se ang galing talaga pag symmetrical no no yung dami niya pero um, but if it the others the other breast yung some breast is mas malaki Compared to isa, or namumula. Noticeable. Yes, may swelling. Mm-hmm. Something is different. So you have to, ipapasagunin mo na yan sa mm-hmm. doktor. Mm-hmm.